Well, hi all. In the boat shed again today, as you may notice. And behind me, you're looking at the, the main mast in construction. And I have to say, I stand back. It looks pretty enormous. Still beefing up the, the lower section, so it's going to get more enormous, even enormouser. Uh, but yeah, coming on well, pleased with that. And of course, this means we're, we're approaching the end of the of the build approaching, he says. I don't know how much longer it will be, but, but we're getting there. The, the list of jobs is getting shorter. In fact, I have a little list. I'll show you it. But just before we do that, um, just you may well be aware that this is pretty much a, a one person boat build. And, and you know, I'm recording, trying to show what it's like for one person to build a, a cruising sailboat. Uh, and you know the entire process of that and there's one thing you could do to help that won't cost you anything and that is to click that old subscribe button um, if you haven't already of course and help us get out perhaps to a wider audience yeah and here is the to-do list and it's not definitive I add things to it when I think of them but uh, that's most of what I've got to do and it's lovely when I get one done and can remove it from the list and uh, yeah we're getting there, getting there and just to scan around from there you'll see sort of level of progress that we're at we've got tea coffee making stuff in the boat we've got the fishing rod has arrived I've got to find a well I know where I want to store it I've just got to make a little storage hook for it some clutter up here on the shelves wiring stuff manual bilge pump there that needs fitting and uh, VHF antenna I want to fit two VHF antennas one on the top of the mast and one removable one for when the masts are down if we're doing canal work on the bimini I think but yeah depth sounder through hull there that's still got to be installed get in there a little spin around That's a short one or two. Thank <laughs> you. 
And we are ready for glue. It's for the mast length, lengths, scarfed, ready to be glued up. Please with that. There we are, four mast lengths glued up before it's got too hot and sweaty today actually, still reasonable temperature, so that's good, it should be a nice drying temperature as well today, lots of epoxy so everything's well wetted out, looks good.
Ready for glue. Yep. Oh. <laughs> this one needs to go that way, round. There you go. And this one's the other way around. Yeah, two mast halves glued. Leave it alone now. Here's the square glued up, 16 by 16 centimetres. Obviously, next job, once the glue's dried, is to take the clamps off and then mark out the taper and see which bits, which parts of that need beefing up from there. Most of it is under that dimension, but probably a five metre section or so will be above it and we'll need beefing.
there is the second masthead fitting ready for polishing. Which might well. Yeah, so it's the first of the beefing up pieces done and uh, five meter length which worked out exactly the section of the mast that needs beefing up maximum 21 centimeters at its at its biggest tapering down to a bit under 10 centimeters at the top and it will taper down to about 15 centimeters at the foot so that double taper that we're working on and one thing you may well ask is, is why I'm not doing more than one side at, at a time. And a uh, simple answer to that one is, is clamps. And uh, you know, I've got a good collection of clamps, but mainly smaller. They're not big enough to do something like this. And, and the number of clamps I've got that are big enough is enough for one side at a time. And that's one of those things I've learned from, from, from this project is that you simply cannot have enough clamps. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> collect them if you find clamps if you're ever lucky enough to find clamps in a, in a flea market or a car boot sale or whatever you have in your part of the world buy them and there we go that's it for this week i should be getting on with this mast finishing the beefing up shaping it i am looking into transport possibilities to move the boat up to a yard things are moving on so say that's it for this week Thank you for watching. Massive thank you to our supporters on Patreon and PayPal. And uh, see you next time. Bye.